Today we're taking a look at this right here. This is the Taurus wireless charger three in one, very portable and cooling action. We're going to review it next. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers from Geekazine, Think Magazine, Put in a Geek, and you got me this. It's a three-in-one charger. We're going to unbox it and we're going to test it out and see how fast it charges. Before we do that, I do have to let you guys know that I did get this product in for review. All opinions are over at geekazine.com forward slash review. If you'd like your product reviewed from, uh, from Geekazine, then go over there and check that out as well. Let's take a look at all the features that you get with this three-in-one charger. To start out, it's going to charge your Apple iPhone, it's going to charge your watch, it's going to charge your AirPods. It's a 15 watt max fast charge and it's got what's called chill wave cooling in the back. So this is going to keep it to a nice 66 degrees Fahrenheit as best as it can. It's foldable, it's portable, it is modular, which means that you can take off the watch part and then plug it directly into the wall so you can take it with you, throw it in your pocket. You could also move the phone horizontally or vertically, so if you're watching a show vertical video versus a, a HD video, then you can just uh, flip it around and keep it charging as you're going. All right, with that said and that done, let's go ahead and take it over to the table. We're going to unbox it and then we're going to throw a couple devices on and see how fast this thing charges. Taurus has been around since 2012, focusing on accessories for iPhone, Samsung devices, and personal comfort. They also offer screen protectors, cases, and the Coolify hot cold neck comforter. Inside the box, we have the watch charger with USB-C connection, the quick guides, and finally, the unit itself. The watch charger attaches to the right and the unit folds up so you can put your AirPods Pro underneath. On the sides are light indicators and on the right side is the USB-C plug. The charging cord connects in back and you can see the vents for cooling on this device. Fold it down when ready to take it with you. Let's go ahead and get into how we set it up. So basically we've put the AirPods Pro on. We're going to put the watch on. The watch was at uh, like 10%. And then the phone, uh, this is an iPhone 12. This is at 3%. We're going to do it in 15 minute increments. The first one was three minutes where it did actually turned on the phone at 3%. Now we get up to the 15 minute mark and we're going to see that the, uh, the phone is starting to charge. We've got about 19% here. Keep going for the next 15 minutes as we flip the phone around and you saw the charge there another 15 minutes and now we're at 56% uh, we're getting about 74% watch is fully charged which is great and uh, here we go again and that's 85% at the hour mark watch is fully charged at that point AirPods are fully charged key to test on at 71 degrees from the handle this is with the watch on 84 degrees and then 89 degrees when we took the watch off there's no fan behind it so no cooling there the other cool thing is if you take out the USB-C you can use that as an external charge for other devices like that iPad and of course uh, that was the iPhone 12 the uh, then we had the iPhone 4 which we put it onto a case. It works with multiple cases that are less than two millimeters thick. So keep that in mind. Some of the other cases might not work. Now let's take a look at some of the pros and cons. Unboxing, fairly straightforward. We had the device, we had the watch adapter, and we had the cord and the plug. Keep in mind, the plug is vital for that 15 watt charge. It is a 33 watt charge plug that does 1.5 amps for charging. So if you use a random USB dongle, you might not get the speed of charge like you would with this one right here. So keep it with the unit itself. Some of the pros, uh, I like the fact that we can actually unplug the watch and then uh, use this uh, in travel or anything like that, plug it in a wall. I could also plug that into an external battery and charge on the go. So I do like that fact. I like the fact this thing folds up and down easily. The vent is in the back. You do hear the fans. There is a fan going in here, so don't block it. You do hear that fan as you go. A couple of the cons though. First of all, they didn't give you a case for it. If this is meant for more travel, it'd be nice to have a, at least a little bag to put this all in because there's a lot of loose pieces here especially with this thing right here because you have a little cap for your USB device but once you use this there's no place for the cap to go do not use it like this folded up because once again those that vent is now blocked you've got to unblock the fan and the vent or else that cooling will not work in all this device 
really nice and easy to use. And of course, uh, you can fold it up. I like the fact that I can plug in an, an external USB device. So if a friend's got a phone that they want to charge, maybe a Samsung phone or, or anything like that, we can charge that as well. Uh, the other thing is if I've got an older phone or the magnetic doesn't work, it would have been nice if there was like a little stand. That's where this would have come in nicely. If we could have put it right there and then became a stand for other phones to charge that don't have the magnetic back, that would have probably been really nice. In all, it does the job for what it's meant for, and that's your iPhone. I think iPhone 11, I had the iPhone 12, uh, iPhone 13, 14, 15, all with magnetic backing. Uh, so you can plug it in and of course, turn that phone screen so you can have the special display with the calendar or if you're watching a video or anything like that, you can have it by your bedpost, watch your movie and then go to sleep or, or watch another movie or turn it and watch a TikTok or whatever. It charges fast and gets the job done. And those are the two main things right there. So once again, this is the Taurus three in one charge, 15 watt charge system for your iPhone, for your uh, AirPods Pro, for your Apple Watch. What do you use to charge your phone? Let me know by going down and commenting below. Don't forget to like and of course subscribe so you know when the next videos come out. Until next time, my name is Jeffrey Powers. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys geek out and take care.